at the end of days. The first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <laughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important.
since my youth, I have been told that I was special. A prodigy of vast potential. I came to the Ishari Sanctum, seeking what knowledge I could glean from the Masters. But I found them fearful of the truth. I would learn nothing from them. But the old books, the prophecies they contained, showed me all that might come to pass, and all that I might become. Then, a star fell from the heavens, the sign that my moment had come. I will go west to Tristram, Stop the darkness that the star portends. And fulfill the destiny that beckons me. This place reeks of the dead. The fallen star must be near. sent me in search of the star that fell on this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. <laughs> Find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Burn those corpses before they rise again. The dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. We have to burn them just to make sure they don't rise from the grave. I came here to study the fall of old Tristram. This is closer to the town's history than I want to be. I came here to study the fall of old Tristram. Zacharum has fallen to disgrace. What faith can save us now? It is the end of the world. Can't you see that? As the shepherd watches over his flock, so shall I care for those who seek to protect us. I worked my hands to the bone to bring you these fine goods. I promised Marco I'd protect him, but now he's dead. you dare lift a finger to help our mayor fix his wagon? My brother died defending this town while that bloated coward tried to run away. The dead rising from their graves. This must be the end of the world. The dead rising from their graves. Some heroes are fighting each other in an area near here. Wanna go? Oh, and uh, you didn't hear about it from me. <laughs> Afraid of damaging your armor or weapons? Uh, that won't happen over there. In fact, no one even dies. Disappointing, really. Strike true.
of this thing. I need to get by. How dare you speak to me like that? I am the mayor of this town. Why are you trying to leave? Are you mad? This town is doomed. Anyone with a grain of sense should be trying to get out. Will you help me or not? I am not in the habit of helping cowards. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral, and their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. Tristram used to be such a wonderful place to live. My family has been here since the town grew out of the ruins of old Tristram. But now, it's horrible. The loved ones we've buried and grieved over now threaten our lives. Have you come to help us? The other adventurers who came through here didn't look so deadly. I don't care what anyone says. That thing that fell from the sky was no rock. A rock doesn't cause the dead to leave their graves. Have you come to help us? The other I don't care what anyone says. That thing that fell from the sky. Welcome to the slaughtered caffeine. Bring me Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the fallen star. I did. But it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but th Watch out! The wounded are turning! Killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless something is done. I will make certain that doesn't happen. Your town is safe. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. As you can see, business is atrocious. It must be the end times if people won't even drown their sorrows in drink. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon... I don't care what anyone says. That thing that fell from the sky. Have you come to help us? The other adventurers. Sixteen militiamen went out. I cannot help us. We never should have built on this cursed ground. Maybe Kane was right. Even in death, Diablo torments us. have come at last to Tristram's old cathedral. This is where Diablo, Lord of Terror, first corrupted mankind. This is where I may finally find the answers I seek. Leah worries after my safety, but I believe information vital to defeating the last lords of the Burning Hells can be found here. I came here to study the fall of old Tr Tristram. This is closer to the town's history than I want to be. What can I do to help you fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Thanks for the warning, but I won't be dying today. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricade! That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road.
I had heard the rumors, but I thought them just fancies of both women. Until I saw them dragging people through the streets today. Our own citizens. Has the world gone mad? to the attacks, at least for now. Where's all the treasure? The fiends didn't take it, did they? I didn't think I could get any better. Tristram. Diablo himself once walked this place. are nothing. Praise the powers that be. Griswold bless his dear heart, risked everything to bring that dear boy home from the cathedral. Though he is troubled and moody now, I am certain it will pass, and he will once again be the sweet word we all love.
thank you for your help. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Now that someone like you has come, we have a chance. Did you hear what happened to Cain? Poor Leah. It's a shame that bard got himself eaten. I could do with some music right now. Gates might fall at any second, and you want a pretty song? Can you think of a better time? My wife was one of them risen dead before it became fashionable. You should have seen her in the mornings. That cathedral is filled with more death than my cooking. I got a wager with Bron the barkeep that you'll die inside the cathedral. Don't let me down. My wife was one of them risen dead before it became fashionable. You should have seen her in the mornings. That cathedral is just my luck. My business is the only thing not rising from the dead in this town. This is my room. Do you like it? A miracle has happened. A hero, like one out of Uncle Deckard's tales, appeared and saved us. I know in my heart that my uncle still lives, and I pray that the hero will bring him home safely. When Leah told us the dead were pouring out of the cathedral, we quickly went to put an end to it. At first, it seemed we were succeeding, but the... But they just kept coming. We... Well, we were overcome. Captain Dalton and the men fought valiantly. They protected me. I am no soldier. I am... I was a farmer. I should not have been out there with them. I do not know how I made it back here. None of the others did. And now, somehow, I'm supposed to lead the militia. I volunteer to help because it seemed the right thing to do. But I'm no leader of men. Perhaps you are more of a leader than you think. That's a simple thing for you to say. You were born to fight monsters like the Risen Dead. Me? I'm just a farmer. I've... As sad as it is for the girl, for all of us, Leah must accept that the old man is dead. No one's surviving what's out there. As sad as it is for the girl, for all of us, Leah must accept that the old man is dead. No one... And it is written, a fire will carve a furrow in the sky, and this shall be a sign unto you that the end is come. You know it's not polite to go through other people's things, don't you? I heard the people who left to get help have all died. I heard the people who left to get help. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Dick. What about your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristan fell to the demons.
hidden cellar. Follow me. I think there was more to your mother than you know. People said she was a witch, but I never believed. Here's the key, and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will search the cathedral. You stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again, but like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. For a long time, Uncle Deckard avoided coming back to this place. There were a lot of ghosts here for him. This is where Diablo drove old King Leoric mad and terrorized the people. I don't know what really happened here, but whatever it was, it was horrible. Nearly everyone who survived went mad. How did your mother die? Well, details are hazy, but I know that Adria was obsessed with chasing the arcane. She knew she could never raise a child. Uncle Deckard believes that the madness and horror of her life finally caught up with her. Another unlucky villager. Need more time. So this is Tristram Cathedral. The fallen star is somewhere inside. must be where the star fell. Its crater is tinged with some strange magic. Lachdanon, and I'm cursed. Once the captain of King Leoric's army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and Still corrupted wait. heart.
don't... I don't want to change. It was Lazarus. Of that I am certain. He alone had the king's ear and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Afraid to speak against the Archbishop, the councillors nodded their empty heads in agreement and sent us off to die. from our horrific defeat in Westmarch. My beloved king lost all pretense of sanity. He seethed with rage, spitting curses upon us as traitors. With great sorrow, I ran him through. Oh, minions, stay back! Back! Maybe it's where you go. The skeleton king. The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones!
Thank you. But why did you risk yourself for me? You live. Fortune smiles on you, old man. I'm here to bring you back to Leah. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. Discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. I have fulfilled my promise to Leah and rescued her uncle, Deckard Cain. Now, all that stands between me and the Fallen Star is the Skeleton King, who has returned to darken Tristram once again. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you. And your friend here. Our time is running short. What can you tell me about the Fallen Star? Not much, I'm afraid. Though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle. Not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Leoric's tale is sad, but I am here to find the Fallen Star, and the Skeleton King stands in my way. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah, you should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. These dark events tax us. I worry for Hadrig, our blacksmith most of all. His wife has been injured, and he is tasked with seeing to those who may turn. His family has suffered under this curse before. His grandfather, the Chancellor to King Leoric, was killed when the evil first spread over Tristram 20 years ago. I am the last of the Herodrim. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. You can't truly believe that. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy. And Tristram, no, the world has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the Lords of Hell. I notice a great fondness between you and Leah. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. 
Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search for the secrets to defeating the lords of the burning hells. <laughs> but though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. I, I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. The prophecy of the end days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Cain. It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world, written by many different people throughout history, in many different lands. All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past 20 years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. You said Diablo drove Leoric mad. Leoric resisted Diablo's attempts to possess him, but the effort left him weak and confused. When his son Albrecht was kidnapped to be a vessel for Diablo, it destroyed any sanity Leoric had left. What happened after he became the Skeleton King? He commanded an army of the dead deep within the cathedral, finally serving the Lord of Terror he had resisted while alive. Many adventurers tried and failed to slay the Skeleton King. It was left to Leoric's eldest son, Aiden, to finally kill the monster his father had become. I've spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard, while he did his crazy research. What is he looking for? He's convinced that the forces of Hell will invade our world and bring about the end times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop this apocalypse. What did you discover about your mother? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, but I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. You're the one who saved Cain. You must help us survive the Skeleton King, too. I've got some brand new goods you might be interested in. shall come a monarch whose rule begins in blood and ends in bone. In the light of a comet will he die a third and final death at the hands of a chosen woman. By the grace of the ancients, may your... Every scholar of demonic law has heard of Decker Cain. Thanks to you, I got to see him in the flesh. What can you tell me about Leah and her uncle, Deckard Cain? Not too much, I'm afraid. They came here almost a year ago. She split her time between looking after him and helping out the town. He spent his days in the old cathedral, looking for old texts from what I hear. They were inside when that thing hit. She's lucky to be alive. Did you know that King Leoric had his own wife executed? Terrible, terrible things happened when he went mad. Will Leoric's spirit never rest? Why was he cursed so? Was it the Skeleton King meant to be dead? I mean, I know he was dead, but wasn't he supposed to be really dead? He should have the decency to stay dead. Again. Cleared out the old town and rescued Deckard Kane. I'm never betting against you again. Was it 
the Skeleton King meant to be dead. See, the problem is, they never should have named this place New Tree. You know what would take everyone's mind off their troubles? One of Theodos's great comedies. I've seen one of them. Two men dressed as women, screeching at each other and tearing at bodices. Huh, a Jimmy Ryder. Glad to hear it. Rehearsals in three hours. Uncle Deckard is home, rescued from the clutches of the Skeleton King. I'm so glad. But the Skeleton King, I thought he was a folktale. The idea of Mad King Leoric returning to torture this place. Hasn't Tristram suffered enough? So this is how it ends? They dragged my cart from the road, but for what? I can't get it repaired. Might as well dig a hole and die in it. If that will make you feel better, perhaps you should. Bless you for saving Deckard Cain. I don't know what Leah would do, what any of us would do if Cain were truly lost. I have some. You've got to promise me you'll take good care of whatever gold. I sell you. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She was out defending the gates this morning. What is driving that woman? Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down to half rations. How are we supposed to fight if we're starving? The rest of the town is down to quarter, including my wife. But you can quit if you want. Blacksmith. Deckard Cain said you could help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? I know it will be difficult, but she would want you to do it. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. I've done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. Well, Hedrig, Deckard Kane told me you know where Leoric's crown is. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. No one round here appreciates the work I put into acquiring these fine wares. You think you're some type of hero? Here to save us all. The dead will feast on your bones as easily as they will ours.
Sorry, the ferry to Wortham isn't running. Can't take anyone anywhere with all that's happening around here. It's not safe. Your grandfather was King Leoric's Chancellor? Tell me about him. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the Skeleton King fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. I studied the fall of Tristram. But it is easy to forget that it happened to real people. Your grandfather was a brave man, 